Hey guys, what's up? So in today's video, we went to Dungan and you know I had to get my hands on their new pink velvet macchiato. So this is what it looks like. It's a beautiful color of pink. It's absolutely gorgeous. Um, it's perfect for Valentine's Day. So basically what it has is it has, um, I think it's some kind of like berry notes or something similar to the sugar plum macchiato, but um, it's like pink of course, and it's freaking beautiful. Now I know last year, I think they had um, something similar to this at Duncan, but I didn't get coffee last year because as you know, um, I was pregnant last year, so I didn't get coffee last year. I didn't want to drink it, but this time around, I can drink coffee and we're going for it. That's why I made this channel and I want to try all these amazing drinks for you guys. Um, they make this in um, like a latte, you can get an iced coffee, cold brew. You can always get their swirls in any of their drinks, um, hot or iced. But I wanted to try the one that was just at, on the menu, which was the macchiato. So I got oat milk. So this is what I got. I just got the medium pink velvet with oat milk. So let's give it a try. That's good. So just like with the sugar plum macchiato, this one um, pretty much just tastes like if you've ever had berry Cheerios and then like at the end of the bowl, the milk that's left over, that's kind of what it tastes like. Um, kind of the same as the sugar plum. It's not bad, but I don't really taste much of like a berry taste it just kind of tastes like the milk that's like left over at the end of the cereal now maybe if I had gotten this in a coffee um, instead of a macchiato since a macchiato is all milk maybe then I would have been able to taste the swirl a little better but for now I taste it but it mostly just tastes like cereal milk I like cereal milk so I like this drink but if you don't like cereal milk maybe you really wouldn't care too much um, for these kind of like berry drinks at Dungan, but I think it's pretty good. Let me get some of the espresso. I can't really taste much of the espresso too much. Mm -hmm. Now I taste it. Um, like I know with macchiatos, some people, they mix the drink. Some people, they don't mix it. Personally, a macchiato is not supposed to be mixed in my opinion. That's why you have the espresso on the top and then the milk on the bottom. And that is why they advertised this um, as a macchiato because if it was mixed in, it wouldn't be fun because you couldn't see the pink, just like with the sugar plum. So this is meant to be drank like this. Um, later on, as I've been drinking it for a while, I ended up mixing it in but at least for the first couple minutes, I like to drink it like this. I like to taste the syrup, the milk, and then the espresso. And if you move your stroll to the top, you actually do taste espresso. Maybe in the future, Duncan will come out with um, some other drinks as well, like other colors. Like maybe they'll do like a blue one, um, or maybe they might even do a green one. But I guess for now, the green one is like the matcha, technically. I'm not sure. But anyway, I would give this an 8 out of 10 stars. I'm not going to give it a 9 because I don't really taste any specific type of berry flavor. But I like it. Um, so if you don't mind the taste of like cereal milk at the end of your bowl of cereal, you should get this drink. But if you don't like that taste, don't get this drink. Um, so it kind of just depends. But I like it. I wanted to get this donut so bad when it first came out. Like I think three weeks ago this stuff has been out but I said to myself I'm gonna hold off for you guys and only try it when I do this video so finally I'm doing the video and I can try it so this is what I was waiting for the brownie batter donut now they have a um, pink donut I think it's called like a cupid's donut it's like this but it's got pink frosting and it basically is Boston cream I'm not that crazy about Boston cream so I'm not gonna try that one for you guys because I'm sure you already know what a Boston cream donut tastes like, um, and I'm not even that crazy about it, so I'm not going to be trying that one for you guys, but um, we'll be trying this one. So it has brownie batter filling in it. If you like chocolate, you'll like it. 
It's good. It's so good. I already knew it was going to be good. So, I don't know if this is actual brownie batter or if it's just more of like a chocolate frosting, like the kind that you get out of the tubs, like to frost your cake with. I don't know which one of those it's like. It might be actual brownie batter because I'm kind of tasting some grittiness, like, you know, the grittiness that you get in the brownie batter. Um, I'm kind of tasting that. So it might be brownie batter. And plus, most brownie batters don't have eggs, so they could actually put that in here and it will be fine. So it might be that, or um, it might be actual frosting. I'm not really sure, but whatever it is in here, it's delicious. So if you like chocolate, go for this. All right, now, Duncan, they have another drink out as well. Um, it's called a mocha macchiato. So it's like that. It's a macchiato, but it's mocha. Um, it's not anything that much different than getting a regular macchiato and asking for mocha, but you know that they have to have their menu items to, you know, bring in the, the publicity and everything like that. Just like the Charlie drink, which I did not review on this channel. Um, but if you know, that's the caramel, the whole milk and the cold brew, you can go and order the same exact thing. It's just, you don't say the Charlie drink. Like, I don't know. It's the same thing. I'm not really into all that I just kind of just order it as is um, but for the purpose of the video I did specifically ask for the pink velvet macchiato but you could always go and order a macchiato and ask for the pink velvet syrup but it would honestly be the same thing so one more time let me try to drink for you guys It's good. I like it. 8 out of 10 stars. Um, and it's really, really pretty. So you should definitely go get yourself the pink velvet macchiato. Um, so until next time, hope you guys are having an awesome day. Hope you guys have a wonderful Valentine's Day with your sweetheart, your little kids, whoever you celebrate Valentine's Day with. I hope that you have an amazing Valentine's Day. And don't forget to like this video, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, Bye, guys.